Uh, today we have come back to the Gladstone Pottery Museum in Stoke-on-Trent and we've come to their Christmas fun day. So I think there's going to be people about reading bits from a uh, Christmas carol and there might be some mischievous elves having snowball fights and if we're really lucky we might get a glimpse of Santa. You never know. So we shall see you inside. There we go, just give you a quick flash of John's Christmas jumper. If you can't see it, it says out of office and it's got Santa enjoying his time on a tropical island. So this is the wheel. That's the wheel, the water tub here. That's what you're going to be using to keep your hands wet because you need to keep your hands lubricated otherwise you tend to stick to the clay. So do we have, do we have uh, two sponges in here? The, spon the sponge uses to be used to clean the pot up at the end. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Well, excuse me, we'll just have to wipe that over first. I'll better throw it down on the wheel for you. Okay. Just take your hand away. Show me your hands. Right. Right, so. You wet your hands thoroughly. That's it. Now I'm going to switch the wheel on for you. So do so if you put your hands around it, put your hands around it, and just go your hands. So hands around it, and you've got to try and hold that still. So you've got to try and keep this hand still, push with the heel of that hand into the other one. Oh, yeah, it's not easy, don't worry about it. Just, no. just take your hands away, Mount. Just take your hands away. Yeah, you're actually flattening the clay a bit. Yep, love it. Don't hold it too tightly. You've got to give the, give the clay room to do its own thing. Yeah. Just take your hands away. Yeah. So if you put your hands around it again, but this time you're going to press down with your thumbs down into the middle. So I'm going to just make a dent in the middle so you know where it is. Just take your hands away. So there's a slight dent in the middle. So if you press down into that. Doing it. Yeah. So essentially what you're making, but you don't want to make a complete hole in it. So just use the very point of your thumb and press down. Just take your hands away from it. Maybe a bit more dense to work into. Okay. Put your hands around it again. Press down further and further into that hole. So make it be good. Yeah. So just take your hands away now. This is the part that might be a bit trickier for you, but let's see how it goes. So you're going to be making the pot taller. It's quite small at the moment, as you can feel, it's fairly low to the wheel. So I'll just take your hands away a moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this hand on the outside, mm -hmm. like that. And this hand is going inside the pot, so you can feel the wall between your hands. And what you're going to do is squeeze gently and move up at the same time. And that will cause the clay to expand upwards. Okay. Yep. Try and relax a bit. Take all the tension out of your hands. And then just squeeze gently and move up. So it's like stroking a dog or a cat. Just pushing into the clay to too much. Just gentle pressure and move upwards. Try and move up. So go that way. Just take the hands away. Oh no, you've got it off the way. Not to worry, we've got plenty more clay. <laughs> One thing we don't like around it, but very gently, just squeeze and move up to the top like that. It's very light pressure. Try not to put your thumb around it, just take your thumb away. Your thumb will dig a line in the clay and we don't want that. So move up, both hands at the same time, so you've got to move that direction. Move straight up. And just guide your hand, so you just move up like that, and the clay will hopefully will expand. One hand has got to be against the other, so you can squeeze the clay between them. All you're doing really is stroking it and nothing really happens. Not too quickly, not too quickly, nice and slow. Okay. 
some rubies and find out to this. Yeah. It takes a lot of pain and suffering when you're doing stuff. Morning. Yeah, it must be really, really rewarding, especially especially when you've done it for the first time and, and you can say, oh, I did this. Yeah, it's, it's nice when you start getting successful pots, but it can be extremely frustrating when you first start because everything flies apart on all too regular a basis. Just take your hands away from it. Perfect then. Walls are nice and even. So if you just put your hands around it again, okay. and then just squeeze a little bit more, you can squeeze a bit more height out of it, and then just continue moving up like that. Just take your hands away, mate. Just need to see the full length of the plate. Yeah, that's okay. Now, I'm going to have to guide you to show you the basic techniques for shaping. So the first one I'm going to show you is how to make the clay go in. So if you put your hands straight, so what you're going to do is stroke in and move up like that. That will stroke the clay in, but still make it narrow. Now the next one I'm going to show you is how to make it go out. So just take that hand away a second. Okay. Put your fingers inside, and you can feel the clay, and curl your fingers slightly. Mm -hmm. Bend your fingers, and that will start to stroke the clay out. Press a bit harder. So in is like yeah. this, yeah. out in. is like that. Yeah. And also, another thing you can do, I'll just show you, it's just top. So if you just extend one finger, like you're pointing at something, that's it, and it just, that's bending the edge over. Mm. Okay. So I'll let you play with that now. But when you're stroking your tent, try not to just use your fingers because your fingers roll individual strands. Try and use more of that part of your hand. The, oh. clay, the clay reacts better. But try not to go right up to the top. So hopefully you can feel where the top is and then just take your hands away as you get towards the top. So it'll just make it'll just make it a narrower cylinder which you Which is okay if you're after a narrow a narrow cylinder, but if you want a more interesting shape then it's best not to do it. So just that hand on the inside. Got a stroke out. Try not to go out to the top. And it's difficult for you to guess where the top is. Oh yeah, it's going out a bit. <coughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying this. Just extend one finger again. Oh, okay. Yeah, just one finger, just bend the edge over. Makes it easier for me to get in the box if it's not Ah, I see. <laughs> what do you think of this as uh, the, the first attempt? That's all right, that's very good. Yeah, yeah. thank you. I'm going to give you a sponge. Oh, thank you. Now, that is going to be put inside the pot. Oh, right. Soak the water up. You have to get the water out, see? <laughs> and then squeeze it out. And you're there. And then again. the water and it can dissolve or split the bottom of the pot as it draws. One more go. The spinning it almost makes it almost makes like a vacuum cleaner so I yep. the water. Right, I'm just gonna trim it around a bit with the bottom and then we'll get you to wire it off. Between two wooden pegs in your hands there's a wire in between them. Oh, okay. So if you stretch that out nice and tight. I'm going to put it flat on the wheel, and then what I want you to do is pull the wire towards you slowly. Like this way, yeah, right? You'll hit resistance from the clay, so just pull towards you. That's the clay resisting you, but keep pulling. Lovely. Here, sure, just drop it now. And take your pot off. It's hard to believe that it started off this little ball of clay, and now we have a, and now we have a pot. Very presentable, isn't it? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that in a box for you. Thank you. And you need a wash. Well, we've come outside and we found some naughty elves trying to give children coal for Christmas. Go and say hello. She's taller than you. No. She hello. is. She's taller than yeah, you. Indeed. Hello. How hello. are you? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, are you She's hard. a lot are taller you than I'm you, John. No, I'm a Christmas fairy. You're on a Christmas stilts, fairy. So I'm very, very tall. Smiles. To keep it, and then you can just paint all over it like that. Okay. 
and I'll put you some more paint on the tile. Just put some more paint there. That will be a nice Christmassy colour. Yeah. I'm putting a bit more red paint there. This is really quite tactile. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. That's pretty well. Now then, this is the front of it. So we'll, we'll let it dry for a minute or two. And then, yeah. shall we have a go on the back? The I back. think we should, yes. Yeah, because yeah, uh, it's going to be hanging on the tree, isn't it, you see? It is, yeah. Yeah, okay then. You so don't want to paint the tummy, but that'll paint the back, That's do you? Right, yeah. So, it dries. This is what's called biscuit wear. So it dries very quickly. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, so you've got plenty of paint here. Far down. Okay, right, we're ready. Let's uh, paint some eyes. That's it. I'm just looking where the best place we are. Give him one on this side. Shall we give him a little more help as well? Oh, yeah. I wonder if we can give him a bit of a smile That's as well. That's it, yeah. That's what you can do. Right, he looks a really happy person now. So he's, he's lovely now. I'm going to leave it on the tile there, mm -hmm. there or for a second or two to dry. Then we'll put it in a bag. Then if you to take home. No, no, no. Is he going to have to be fired? Or uh, just... No, it's ready to go now because this is what's called biscuit wire. So it's been fired once. So it's become a piece of ceramic, but it absorbs the paint oh, straight nice. away. So you don't have to wait to terrify. And that will be really nice. You see here, there is that's that's where the hole is mm -hmm. to have your piece of string or whatever put through. And then that will hang on your tree for Christmas Day. So mm -hmm. it used to be out of Miami. Yeah. Yeah. Was that carnival? Uh, no, he used to work for Cunard. And I'm still painting. I don't think they're ever going to employ me. No, I don't think you're fast enough. Well, no, I'm not fast enough and I'm not good enough either. So did you enjoy that, John? Oh, yeah, I really, really did enjoy that, yes. There we go. That's my Christmas candle decoration. Santa's in there. Yeah. He's there. Special people to see Santa. I don't think you want to sit there. There's a chair right by Santa. Give us your hand. Oh, oh hello, Santa. There we are. Lovely. How now are you? Then. I'm all right. What's your name? Oh, my name is John. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> There we are. Nice to see you. Oh, Who are you? Pleasure, well, my What's your name? Do you like chocolate? I do, yes. Now then, that's for you. Bye, bye, bye. Ch chocolate lolly. Oh, thank you so much. And one for you. I forgot to ask. Are you all right with chocolate? Yeah. Are you sure? You can have something else. Oh, I'm fine with chocolate. Thanks. Thank you very much for coming to say hello. A Merry Christmas to you both. Merry Christmas to you, Santa. Right, we've had our Christmas fun day at the Gladstone Pottery Museum. We saw some naughty elves. We didn't see a lot of snow, apart from Scrooge with the snow machine. Saw a fairy. And John got to throw a pot. And John and I both painted some stuff for the Christmas tree. So, all in all, we've had quite some good fun, haven't we? I can't think of a more enjoyable way to spend a morning, really. It was it was everything that I was hoping for and more, really. Yeah, it was good fun. I enjoyed it. As usual, when we've been here in on previous occasions, we found it super accessible. And you've been allowed to touch stuff that you wouldn't normally be allowed to. John? Oh, they, once again, they bend over backwards to be accessible. It was... Yeah. It just seems to me that the aim here is 
what can we do to make things as accessible as possible? Yeah, so that everybody can enjoy the experience. Exactly. And they did that. We've enjoyed it. Yeah, and if if you like pottery and you're ever in the Stoke-on-Trent area, it's definitely worth a visit. Absolutely. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. And if you don't already, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye.